Okay, so we have the base supply calculations. How many capsule, capsules should be dispensed for the following prescription? Each tablet is 50 milligrams. Well, that definitely should say tablet. So let's act like it does. <laughs> Okay, so we have 25,000 micrograms one hour before appointment and 50,000 micrograms 10 hours after initial dose. So in order to convert milligrams into micrograms, we have to multiply by 1,000, which will give us 50,000 micrograms. So we know 25,000 is half of 50, so the answer would be one and one half tablets. Okay, now for number two, well, 1B, I'm sorry. It says one gram by mouth every day for seven days, then decrease to half a gram every day for seven days and stop. So we know each tablet is 250 milligrams. So that would be, to make one gram, we'll multiply that by four. So that would be four times seven, which equals 28. And what we'll do is half a tablet, I mean half a gram, so that'll be two times seven, which equals 14. If you add them together, the total will be 42 tablets. Okay, so for this one, we have number 2A, how many tablets should be dispensed for the following prescription? Drug XYZ, 75 milligrams. So if we have 300 milligrams, we know that's four tablets times two for twice a day. Then you multiply it by 15, which gives us 120 tablets. Then the next one is 150 milligrams. So that'll be two tablets. times two, and there's not enough space, so let me do it this way. Two tablets times two, which equals four, times 10, which gives us 40 tablets, 75, which is one, times two, which is two times five, times five, which equals 10, 75, three times a day for four days. Okay. That'll give us 12 tablets. Three times four equals 12. And then 75 every other day for three days. So that'll give us a total of two tablets. Now let's add them together. 120 plus 40 plus 10, plus 12, plus two, equals 184. Okay, so you guys got that. Let me erase it so I can have some more space. Now, how many tablets should be dispensed? You have one by mouth, twice a day, alternating two tablets, twice a day on the following day. So that means Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, you take two. And this would mean Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, or really Sunday, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. You take six. So what we'll do is to, and it's a 60 day supply, so that'd be two times 30 and six times 30, right? So two times 30, of course, equals 60. Six times 30 equals 180. Your answer is 240 tablets, okay? So for the next one, we have one to two tablets by mouth every 12 hours, alternating one by mouth every two hours on the following day. And we have a one month supply, which is a 30 day. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is always pick two by mouth every two hours, which would be 24 tablets. We're going to multiply that by 15. Then we're going to take one by mouth every two hours, which would be 12 tablets times 15, which equals 360 and 180. When you mix them together, the total is going to be 540 tablets. Okay. So now we have how many bottles will be dispensed. Drug ZZZ is available in one pint bottles. Take one and a half ounces with milk twice a day. Dispense a 30 day supply. So for this one, we know one pint, right? It's 480 ml, roughly. Okay. And one and one half ounce equals 45 ml. And then we're going to multiply that by two because it's twice a day, which equals 90 ml. We're going to multiply that by 30 because it's a 30 day supply, which gives us 2,700. Divide that by 4. 80 and you're going to get 5.63 the answer is going to be six bottles okay i can't fence that but six bottles will be your answer okay and then for 4b we have two teaspoons which equals 10 ml and we're going to multiply that by seven days times five weeks because we take it every other day. So it'll be equal to five weeks. So that's going to be two. Then we also have to do, we have a seven ounce bottle. Okay, so we'll do 30 ml, because it's 30 an ounce, times seven, which will give us a 210 ounce, 210 ml bottle. And then this will equal 350. So for one bottle, we'll have, a little bit left over, so we'll give two bottles. And this is six bottles. Okay, so this is what the math will look like for the first four questions. Okay, so for number five, the question is, can't read right here. How many grams should be dispensed for the following prescription? Drug KML inhaler, 7.6 grams, 120 meter doses. Right? Let me make that. There we go. Okay, so we know we have drug KML inhaler, 7.6 grams, 120 meter doses. You spray one in each one spray in each nostril four times a day. So that would be a total of eight sprays, right? And then, so we want to know how many grams is in this particular inhaler. So if we do 7.6, we have five inhalers times five, it would equal 38 grams. Okay, and how many day supply is it written for? So, if we have 120, 120 meter doses, we multiply that by 5, then 
we divide it by eight, because you take it eight times a day, it would equal a 75 day supply. Okay. How many milliliters should be dispensed for the following prescription? And now we're on number six. So 6A would be five ml times two times 10, which equals a thousand ml. And then we have half an ounce every night at bedtime for 20 days. So half an ounce is 15 ml times 20 days, which equals 300 ml. Okay. Now number seven, we have how many milliliters should be dispensed for the following prescription? One and a half ounce every six to eight hours for seven days. So we're gonna choose one and a half ounce, which is 45 ml. And we're gonna go with four, cause you're always gonna pick the most frequent one. So times four times seven days equals 1,260 ml, okay? And that's one right there. So for B, we're going to do 10 ml because it's one to two teaspoons by mouth every six to eight hours for a 50 day supply. And we'll do 10 ml times four times 50, which equals 2000 ml. Okay. And number eight, how many tablets should be dispensed for the following prescription? One by mouth every four hours for one week, then decrease to half a tablet by mouth every six hours for five days, right? So we're going to do six times seven, which equals 42, two times five, which equals 10, 10 plus 42, equals 52 and that will be your answer 52 tablets so for b we're going to do 1.5 times 7 which equals 10.5 we'll do 4 times 60 which equals 240 and when you add them together you get 2 Oops, that is not a two. <laughs> and I made that big. Let me do that over. Which equals 240. You add 10.5 to that, and you end up with 250.5. Okay, so number nine. How many days supply does this prescription provide? You have two by mouth every four hours for pain. And there's 100 tablets in a bottle. And then you have B, which is one to two by mouth every other day and 30 capsules in a bottle, right? So what you're gonna do for 9A is two times six divided by 100 equals 8.3. And what you'll do for 9B is 2 times 15 equals 30. Okay. And I'm going to throw number 10 on here. You can't see it. But number 10 would be... Give me one second so I can read it. Number 10 is how many day supply does a prescription provide? You have half a teaspoon by mouth every eight hours and you have a total of three ounces, right? So we know half a teaspoon would be 7.5. Three ounces 
is 90. So that would be a 12 day supply. And then you have one tablespoon by mouth every six hours and you have one quart. So for B, 10B, you'll do 15 times four, which equals 60. Divide that by 946 and your total is gonna be 18. Hope this was helpful. Please give me feedback.